All right, hello everyone. Thank you to the power of the internet. I now get to talk with you, and something I've never shown off is Vang Pro, which is kind of like Card Fight Arena, but different. And I want to just show it off because I think it's really cool. And one thing I've noticed is I've said I've loved Magnolia, but I've never actually done anything but shown off support for it. So I have brought up my BT13 build. <clears throat> and we're going to go over it. In the ride line, of course, we have Magnolia. Uh, I'm playing the grade 4 variant, as you can probably see down there. So the ride line's a bit different. We have Friendship Fairy. This has a lot of talk about it because I don't want it in the main deck at all. This is controversial because most people want to run um, Black Tier to get their order back, but that is not needed in this deck anymore, thanks to Mythiarch Habitat, and I'll tell you why later, but... Friendship Fairy <coughs> now has a consistent way to always come out in this deck, so there's really no reason she shouldn't be here for consistency's sake. Because um, most things are so blast, so you just take her out, put her back, counter blast, throw her back in, and you're grade 4. And it allows me to run more things in main deck. Of course, Rancor Chain is in here, because you want to be drawing cards. Now, some of you are probably... You know, a little nervous because you only see four orders, one of which is Forbid Doll. Uh, yes, that's right, because this is a going second build, and with the rules, you can always go second because that's when Friendship Fairy can get you to your grade four. And at this point, you don't really care about your order, and in fact, you kind of want to see Mythiarch Habitat down there anyway. Um, but because this deck has a lot of calling potential and will continue to have such, um, you actually want to ditch um, units now, which is very crazy to think about. Any, like, grade 2 or less, you just throw and call it a day. Of course, the grade 0 of choice doesn't matter. <clears throat> Going on to grade 4, this is the main thing, because this is still a really strong card for no cost of all, everything gets 5k... The only thing I wish that this got an errata and that it said and gains intercept because um, just the interaction it has with Enlarvgulv, however you pronounce this card, I Cease Strike Dragon, <laughs> there we go, um, gets additional shield if you're a grade 4, which is really going unutilized, but... After all, everyone should know this next card, Inlet Pulse, obviously in a deck that can very easily get six attacks, getting that reoccurring soul and plus one is good. The funniest thing is I actually had to take out my three draw triggers because many games I lost, not because of damage, but because I decked myself out and my opponent just went turn end. Oh, that, that was the last card in deck. I have outsped it greed on deck before that is how much this card can draw but then again it's kind of needed in this deck because you have no real defensive options and because you're still playing something that came out in what like booster four um <coughs> you don't really have a lot of defensive options obviously we now have for bid doll circuit which searches out your grade four or inlet and in C strike the best thing, though, about having Friendship Fairy in the ride line, though, is this small little number. If you don't have a grade 4, you bring it to hand with Forbid Doll, bring in a Larve Gall, which gets automatically played, activating its on place, Soul Blast her out, call it out, Counter Blast, bam, one card, grade 4. Um, which now brings me to why this step is so good. Because when you're just a grade 4, when you want to play your deck, it's that um, Friendship Fairy thing, but also this is another trigger in hand, so normally I try to save as many as these in hand and not really on field presence, but that doesn't always work out. Of course, this has been in my deck all the way since Booster 1 is Gwynosia, because the Care Bear gives power to Care Bear, um, but honestly, it just helps you hit nicer numbers, and when this thing is always 15, um, it's a nice little boost. It gets over a trigger. Elaine has also been in here since Booster 1, but she's going to be replaced by that Grey 2, which is 
basically her on crack where you get a call two and when it attacks it gives 5k to magnolia honestly support wave needed for a long time <clears throat> now many of you will question this but i have put this one next card in as a niche -ity. uh we got a buy colon um not many people are going to expect this but you throw it in the back row counter blast one and it attacks the whole front row i just don't want to deal with intercepts sometimes or you have very annoying units up front and i just want to start clearing board obviously if it finds its way into damage uh, so whatever i wasn't really excited to draw this but it's nice to draw it <coughs> the real key and if you really want to replace something uh do a second one of these is a guard restrict and whenever you attack you're clearing out your soul from the inlets and these gold bedats but yeah, um, guard restrict choosing everything on your opponent's rear, and they cannot bring anything to guard from hand, though the one downside to this is it's dependent on your opponent, and the blitz order, you know, elemental still goes in the blitz zone, so he ignores them entirely. But for the most part, if you just stack them up with crits, your opponent can't hit them anyway. Obviously, Golbat, because this is your main discard. You don't care about this card. Because when you ride your grade 4, you shove one into soul, your opponent get, uh, it gets 5k. Um, inlet. Uh, not Inlet. God, I can't speak today. Magnolia will then call this out because of its on place. And if you have a second one in discard, you just shove it right back in soul. And you've basically given your Vanguard plus 10k for the turn. Which is why you need things like Soul Blast, like the Bragg, to get these out of Soul. So when you just play Grade 4, you can immediately just keep looping that. Though this isn't too bad if it's not behind <coughs> your Vanguard. You don't get the draw, but it's still a 25k attacker because it gets 10k from its effect. And Magnolia gives it 5. Eh. Alright, um, Command of Death's Restraint. The discard is a little bit oof, but at least you're not paying anything else. This is basically so you can get any unit back, but if you have an activated circuit and it somehow found it waiting to drop, you can get it back. You can also get back Mythyark, which now I'm going to say another way to get this back, and you've already seen the card. Um, Elena. Oh, I went into... Um, the ride deck. Don't don't pay attention to that. Um, it's because you can choose a grade two or less card from drop. So this is a grade one, if you notice. Now the beautiful thing about this is when you would call it to rear, you can put it into your hand instead of the drop. So you can just call that back out. And then if you haven't played an order this turn, which you probably shouldn't, you only have four in the deck. You play it, and look, you you locked that top seven. Which really helps when you deck thin, because then you know exactly what's in your deck. Obviously, four PGs, because... Defensive game. Um, here we have two Cyril. Uh you, you don't need these. I'm testing around with this, but it's mainly just because... Some people complain you don't have a grade four by that turn. And that's the only reason this card is in the deck. is because the guaranteed searcher is going to be introduced so i'm t kind of testing sorol to be that replacement though normally i would probably run s like two orders here maybe <clears throat> maybe more mythiarc just for uh rancor chain but and obviously the world's most broken generic order pr ever printed top seven Call whatever. Hey, if you find another one of these, just bring it hand, use it next turn. Alright, triggers. Obviously, you are drawing and searching quite a lot, and you do not care. So you want some fronts, just to make your numbers bigger. Obviously, 8 crit, because this deck is so flexible. Like, you swing with Magnolia first most of the time, or should be. Unless the new support's out, and then you like, oh, swing, give Magnolia 5, and then it's swinging at a 28 which is a very scary number to guard. And you give power to bear, and hey, look, 
Gabrig over here can get the crit too if you see your opponent can't guard with like a zero or a one. And obviously four heal triggers. Who would have guessed? Um, let me quickly open up a single player room. As you see, this hand isn't the best, so we want to probably bottom deck these things. So, what's going on here is I need at least one of these. I don't care if I get an order uh, for Rancor Chain. So, we have just you need this in the grade four, which is why I'm keeping Sorol here. Uh, so, back to hand. I haven't called you yet. Draw three. Even when I'm testing a video, you just see my luck. Yeah, let's bottom deck these and see if I can't draw actual three. You know what? That's fine. Because if you're going second, no one's going to attack you. You draw a card. At this moment, doesn't quite matter what you discard. I would honestly say... Elaine, you ride deck up to Rancor. Rancor draws you two. And see, look at that. We have a Grade 4 Magnolia. Um, you draw a card because of Cat, though. Uh, in this case, because I have two Grade 4s, it's going off screen. You get rid of the Deer. Because you no longer need that search. Uh, you can probably get rid of a Grade 4 if you wanted to. But in this case, I would probably get rid of the Crit Trigger. Mainly because you have two Enlarge Golf. Uh, which are triggers... Yes, even now, because you can show the grade four in hands. Uh, and that's mainly what they're there for. Let's say your opponent attacks you. You're probably going to get damaged very early on. Especially in your grade two turn, when you're about to be bullied because you have a fairy. Uh, come on. I'm still getting used to this program, so... Forgive me. Um, yeah, you can't really call anything. Drive check. Cool. <clears throat> this just shows my luck. My, I, 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 this is why I'm good at what I do. Um, let's just say you get pushed to five. Oh, look, OT. Um, so you draw, of course, uh, draw again. At least I got another enlarge. Uh, this isn't normally how the deck's supposed to perform. I just have terrible luck. Get rid of the Bicorn. Obviously, you're going into Magnolia now. And this is the main thing I was talking about, where you call, you get rid of... Where's Soul? Hold on. Mantis. View Soul. There it is. You get rid of Friendship Fairy, obviously I accidentally replaced everything, so. Uh, it technically goes to drop for the sole cost. Uh, judges might call you on that, so be careful. Call it. Counter Blast 1. This goes back into soul. And bam. Technically you had to reveal the grade 4, but if you're doing this play anyway, your opponent should already kind of know what you're doing. Uh, this is a bad position to be in, but obviously you don't have a choice, so, you know, just drop the fairy at this point because she's lived her purpose. Um, this is another good thing to remember that I'm pretty sure this brings a unit to hand. Yeah. So you can actually better use Elena. Because it brings it to hand, which her on place is from hand. You counter blast one, you soul blast. Uh, doesn't quite matter as long as you're not getting rid of Magnolia. Drop that and sure, for the fun of it, we're going to call Bicorn, counter blast one. <coughs> and you see from absolutely nothing, we got in this swing with Magnolia. Um, no, no, no. I had that damage. Uh, check one. Check two. Check three. Obviously, and that just very much improved your hands. 
And that's all there real is to this deck. It's pretty simple, and it is my favorite. Obviously, I'm the Magnolia person. You don't know it yet, but I am. Listen to me. Do it. Please. Love of God, please listen to me. Though, if you've made it this far, thank you. I don't know how, but thank you. Uh, and please, say if you liked Vang Pro. I know I messed up this one, but hey, I'm not going to edit it out. Y'all can see me at my, my prime. Try Magnolia is the end of the uh, discussion. It's really cool. It's really fun. Only grade for Magnolia Mask is not my favorite. 